Hey everybody, let your light shine. We've got Stan, we've got Steve-O, and we've got, I don't know, Jake the Ibu Shimu. <laughs> All right, I got just, nothing. Just, just call her by my name, Mom. Yo, we've got Jackson over here. All right, we are here at Rem's Vegas Sports Lounge. It's been other names. This has been established in 1968. It used to be Rembrandt's, then it was the Royal. Now it is Rem's. And we're going to go check it out. And so are you. Uh, we're not sure what entrance, but this one says the entrance. This place at the time we used to go when it was Rembrandt's. Um, had a lounge. We used to always watch our favorite lounge singer, Phil Shane. I'm going to show you him again right now. All right. Well, it used to be where, well, it still is a stage right here, but it's just definitely a setup for parties now and well now I guess they did have tables always here too but this was this was the stage it still is a stage okay so just I'm just haven't been here in a while this is where my buddy is and I love these um, red booths so anyway I guess we sit here for dinner and the floor used to be on the opposite side across from the bar but now the bar just has pool tables and some of these on the side, but it's mainly for parties over there. So anyway, let's uh, peruse the, oh, that's cool. I like that. They have the Vegas theme now here, so changing it up. If I remember correctly, when I was watching uh, Bar Rescue, they did it on um, the Canyon Inn. The manager, not the owner, I don't know his name, I want to say Mike, but I could be wrong on that. Anyway, he left that place after they did Back to the Bar. That place failed again, <laughs> Back to the Bar. And that guy came here and managed this place. I'm not sure if he's still doing that or not. So, anyway, this is what we're looking at here. All right, we're going to peruse the menu. And I was just talking to the waitress, and I was off on the name. The name is Johnny and Tracy. Johnny is the owner of this place, and yes, he owned it when it was Rembrandt's, and they moved it to the Royal, then they changed it back to Rem's, because everybody thought, hey, it's still Rembrandt's to them. So it's always been the same, um, the restaurant's been the same ownership, apparently, with the change of names. But yeah, his name is Johnny. He's the one that worked at Canyon, and then he came over here and owns this place, and I believe John Taffer did a thumbs up on this place for him, so I thought that was kind of cool. Anyway, we're gonna check out the menu. All right, I'm gonna peruse this area. Um, again, back in the day when we used to go here, not that we came here a lot, but this was the main dining room. So it looks like someone's setting up for a cool party. So I like the artwork though that they have. Look at that, Rat Pack. This is definitely I guess uh, they also, oh, shuffleboard. They also um, have like, if you have your own music, they'll just plug it into the their sound system. You can play your own stuff. This is a really cool place for a party. I'm gonna get a shot of this. That's really, 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 really cool place. Okay, I like darts. Okay. So the, yeah, they always had to split off the restaurant to the uh, lounge area, so hence the two entrances. A long time ago, I remember watching a guy named Robert Fields, I think his name was. I used to watch him at the Sunset Room over in Hacienda. So, I like this. It's cool. Alright, let's go back. Yeah. Got lots of entertainment, different TVs to watch, depending on what you like to watch. 
And we're going to put our order in and eat. I guess it's happy hour till 7. So we're starting out with a little bit of Chardonnay and a brewski and a water. All right, guys. Okay, if you can hear me, because I know it's kind of loud. Okay, so I got the slider. It's like a bacon, bacon cheeseburger slider with salad with, of course, my blue cheese and either balsamic vinaigrette or Italian on the side. You got a grilled cheese with French fries, and you got a a bacon, bacon cheeseburger with salad and your usual blue cheese and balsamic vinaigrette on the side. So this looks really delicious. Here we go. All right, we are done with our lunch, dinner, our late early, lunch, early dinner. Early dinner. Yeah. Hey, I really enjoyed this place. Um, I'm going to give it a five star because you got your dark and dank bar, which I love. You got your lounge. I like the fact that the owner is still the same owner. They just changed names, but it's the same place, same thing. People are very friendly. And I was very impressed with those sliders. They were so good and juicy. I was, that was good. I was impressed. So I'm going to give it a five star bar rescues. Why do I say five star? Five bar rescues. There you go. All right. Yeah, we messed that up pretty bad. Yeah, we did time. last time too. Yeah. <laughs> so star. Five bar rescues. What do you rate uh, with your grilled cheese? I thought it was okay, so three. So everything's a three. A three, you just an FYI. When it's a three, just think five. Okay. So you got a three. Because I thought it looked good. I thought your sandwich it, it, looked really good. It looked it pretty okay. good, but I mean, for. I, but I mean, he does have a point. I, I mean, liked how for, it came for, with like a spicy dipping sauce, which is like buffalo nice sauce. Too, and it was a good sized piece of bread with lots of cheese. I mean, they could have. Put you some ate it all up. It was gobbled something. up. It was gone. Pretty quick. Was, so. You can't really complain about that. All right. I'm not really complaining. It's no. Uh, yeah, all right. I understand. I mean, Steve -o, you I would have done a little more for 11 bucks for that, but okay. But anyway. yeah, the, but I have to admit that the prices were pretty cheap. So, what was your bacon cheeseburger uh, uh, rating? It was very or, good. And oh, what are you rating your three? I. You don't know? Three I don't knows. Don't and know. you? Uh, uh, since we're coming here for my dad's birthday, I'm going to rate it birthday parties. So I'm going to give it 4.5 birthday parties because I really did enjoy the atmosphere. Service was nice, friendly, food was good, portion size was nice, plenty of croutons on the salad. Yes, good. I have to admit that. The I salad did was, enjoy that. The little side salad was delicious. So, hey guys, um, check out Rem Vegas Sports Lounge. That's what we call it now. And uh, nighttime, I'm sure the nightlife here is just as cool as it was back in the day when we used to go here. Not all the time, but we used to go here to see Phil Shane, and it was fun. So hang out. So we're over here in Placentia, California. This is your Belinda Boulevard and McCormick, I think, is the back street right here. So there you go. Thank you, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.